All right, guys, I just wanted to come on here to say that you do not have to have Botox to be beautiful. This is just something that I'm doing for myself, and it's my decision, and I support anybody that does or does not receive Botox. All right, you guys, I'm at the doctor's office. I'm about to get Botox. All right, y'all, so I just finished getting Botox. Ignore all this. This is not my makeup. This is the stuff that he used to clean my face. But um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it because I have um, had a few of you guys message me and ask questions about Botox. This is not my first time receiving Botox, but here we go. So um, my doctor, um, I he used 40 units on me and I received it in my crow's feet area and up here. And um, like I said, it's gonna take um, up to two weeks to get the results that I want. And also right here. So you're not gonna notice like difference right now so don't judge it because it takes some time but um i was looking into getting fillers underneath my eyes as well and he agrees with me about that however he will not inject me with fillers until until i come back at my two to three week mark he wants to see how the botox did like where he injected it, if he needs to make any changes and then we'll put the fillers in he wants to see how my face looks so that you know duh so i agree with him on that it does not hurt i'm pretty sure you guys can see a few of like the little he injected well my son scratched me right there but like there's little dots everywhere but it, it is not painful to me it just feels like a little pinch if you're sensitive your eyes could water maybe but I told him when I walked in there I said look I said I do not want my face to move I don't want it to move up here um I mean I love I don't want my brows messed with he said if he does too much it can like make it droop so we're not going to do all that um I he said I'm very expressive like he can tell in my face but that tells me I have a lot of wrinkles and I know wrinkles are a natural way of life but I ain't about that life so fix it so I'm about to be looking hella fine and you're not about to tell me shit <laughs> I'm just kidding no but all right, y'all, I have a client that's about to come in, but I wanted to come on here for a Botox update and burnt. Ah! <laughs> so obviously I bruised in three areas, which is a, it can happen, it is what it is, but you don't see those lines up there anymore. It's already starting to work, Hey. But yeah, and also I don't have any makeup on because I wanted y'all to see this. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. If I put makeup on, you can still see it a little bit. Like if I use some good makeup, you can barely see it. But I wanted y'all to see what it looks like without makeup. And also I bruise like super duper easy too. So it's like no surprise because I have bruised before. But thank God it's Halloween next week if this takes a minute to go away because... It, my bruises take a while to go away. Get low. Burnt. Also, I had some questions about like the cost of Botox and how long it lasts. Um, it can last anywhere from four to five months. And then the cost, it, it basically depends on the doctor or nurse or whoever it is that you're seeing. I've seen anywhere from like $10 a unit to $13 a unit. So if you're getting 30 units, you times that by 12 if you're paying $12. So that's the price.